powerful brown ink. It's Captain Flamingo! Tired of being a kid in a world built for grown-ups, Milo Powell decided to become a superhero. He's a shining peak of justice for kids everywhere. <laughs> With his powerful novelty items. And trusty sidekick Elizabeth. Look out for the colorful and clueless Captain Flamingo. In Flamingo Vision, where available. In the quiet suburban oasis, tiny Milo Powell sleeps peacefully, unaware that for this littlest of little kids, this will surely be the most stupendous day of his entire little kid life. This is the day the new comics arrive, and especially Quantum Vigilante number thirty. Wherein he battles the evil vibro brain. Wah! Oh, quantum vigilante. The strongest, classiest, wisecracking is hero of them all. <laughs> wow, I guess I'm not the only one who thinks so. Well, it's a good thing I'm first in line, because when that store opens, I'm gonna be. <laughs> really <laughs> mad. Me! Oh, hey, me! Me next! Quantum Vigilante number 31, please! Should have gotten here earlier. All we got left is this. Wacky Doc! Take it or leave it. But he's wall-eyed, and he wears a giant diaper, and he says dopey things like... That's just quackers! Mm -hmm. Your point? How come big kids get everything, and little kids get stuck with Wacky Duck? Little kids love Wacky Duck. No, they don't. Nobody loves Wacky Duck. Not even Wacky Duck's mother. <coughs> How come there's nobody to stick up for little guys like me? Somebody ought to do something. Somebody ought to do something. Right now. Hey, kid, up here. Huh? Tired of being pushed around? Sick of being a little kid in a big kid's world? Yeah. Then do what we did. Huh? I was the littlest guy in my class. I couldn't go anywhere without my blankies. I still suck my thumb. But only at night. And only when I'm totally stressed. We all solved our problems in one easy step. I don't get it. Become a superhero. I can just do that? Why, Why not? not? We, we did. did. I can't believe I didn't think of this before. Now to get started. I'll need a super name. But what's a good, never been done superhero shtick? Ants, done. Wolverines, done. Worms, incredible but true, done. All the good names are taken. Wait a second. Look at that! Noble! Magnificent! Pink! Flamingo! And with that, Milo Powell magically transformed into Captain Flamingo! Champion of the little kid. Little kids like Elizabeth Amanda Zaragoza, who just absolutely, positively loves that little square-shaped boy. I absolutely, positively love that little square-shaped boy. <laughs> but what the pink bath mat is he up to now? He's dressed like a water bird. That's so, so, so... <sighs> adorable. Well, if he wants to be a superhero, he's definitely gonna need some superpowers. As far as I can tell, he has no super strength. His hypnovision is weak at best. And as far as flight goes, 
<laughs> oh, boy. Look, family. A new fashion line of merry novelty items for the store. <laughs> Sneezing powder. Uh, uh, very lively, eh, Milo? He wants us to call him Flamingo Man from now on, dear. No, Captain Flamingo. Well, Flamingo Man, I need you to deliver a case of these items to the store this afternoon. But I have heroic stuff to do. After your chores. When you're big, you can be heroic all day long if you want. But for now, you're still little, little, little. Little. What was I thinking? Superhero. Super short guy, maybe. With a super early bedtime. Ah, and a super wedgie. Here, hi. Hi, Milo. Hi, Elizabeth. You dropped these, so. Well, you can't be a superhero without a costume. Superhero? Are you crazy? I'm little. Little kids can't do any... Uh, uh. <gasps> that sounded like a little kid in trouble. What are you going to do? Yes, what is Milo Powell going to do? Hmm? Will he turn tail and run like a little bitty baby and go crying home to his mommy? <laughs> or will he put on that beak? and embrace his true destiny. Well? Well, Milo, there's a little kid in trouble. Are you going to save him? Just watch me. Ah! Oh, no. My comic book. I got Queen filming all over it. Hey! Ah! Oh! My quantum vigilante number 31 had stuck weight on that big kid's butt. Don't worry, Max. Captain Flamingo can help you. But big kids are so big, and you're so small. How can you help me, Captain Flamingo? Are you kidding? Captain Flamingo is not small. He's compact and disarmingly dense. Plus, he's just been elected by super secret ballot to be a leader of the, of the, uh, Waterbird Freedom League. I have? Wow! Whoa! Those aren't monster bikes, those are bike monsters! Wow! Superpower sure would come in handy right about now. We never really worked at that power business. But that's not going to stop Captain Flamingo! It's not? Not when he has his backpack full of super powerful novelty items that are like superpowers? Just look in the bag. Hey, silly string! I can use this to trip up their giant monster feet! Whoa! Good work, Captain. You got them running scared. Don't worry, Max. Captain Flamingo isn't giving up. With this, I can get past the Bike Buster's jaws and nab the comic right off the big kid's butt. Good thinking, Captain. What'd you say? Now what? The itching powder. If the big kid gets itchy, he'll need relief. And what better way than a cool dip in the waiting pool? He'll take off his pants to go in, and then we can grab the comic. It's just crazy enough to work. Captain, use the powder. Huh? The powder! Wait! What's that I hear? It's your friend, bird brain. What? My bird brain. Aha! So that must be my power. My super powerful bird brain is trying to tell me something. No, I was just saying... Yeah, okay, let's go with that. Aha! I should use some of my dad's itching powder on the big kids. Huh? What? What? No! Captain! That's not the itching powder! That's the sneezing powder! <laughs> Wait a second. Captain Flamingo may be on to something. Little kids may be little in a lot of areas, but not when it comes to spraying huge gobs of gooey yellow sneeze goo. <laughs> Little kids always wreck everything. Oh! My hero! My hero. Yay! Uh, Mr. Flamingo? 
You must be wondering how I got that comic. Me being a little kid and all. See the comic store? Well, it belongs to my dad. And now that you saved me and everything, I want you to have it. Um, that's real nice, but still, it, it, and it's kind of uh, foul. And that's how Quantum Vigilante saves humanity from the evil fibro brain once again. Huh? That was kind of flat compared to the last one. Derivative. And the ending was kind of tacked on. Why don't you tell the story of how Captain Flamingo got the comic away from the big kids again? Just one more time, Captain, if it's not too much trouble. Trouble? <laughs> There's no such thing as too much trouble. Not for Captain Flamingo! Looking out for little kids in a big way. <laughs>